Kids Radio. Go and start your hands to clapping or tap your little toe. Tune in to Kids Radio and listen, we're ready to go. Well, Theodore, what did you learn in school today? Oh, it was Nino and Carolyn. Uh, my teacher read us a great story to get today called The Lizard of Taz. The Lizard of Taz? Oh, don't you mean some other title? It was about a little girl named Dorothy and her little dog named Bobo, Bobo. getting blown away in a big tornado. Hmm. And they wind up in a magical land called Taz. No, you mean the Wizard of Oz, don't you? Listen, Aunt Carol, who's telling this story? You or me, oh, huh? Right. Uh, go right ahead, Theodore. Okay. Anyway, Dorothy lived on a farm in Kansas when all of a sudden a big storm came along across the plains, you know. Her, her family hid in the storm cellar, but Dorothy and her dog Bobo got caught in the farmhouse just as the thunder and lightning got real bad. And, and a big tornado came on the scene and, and picked up the farmhouse with Dorothy and Bobo inside and whisked them both into the sky to the land of Taz. <laughs> Thunder, lightning, thunder, lightning, a storm's about to begin. Thunder, lightning, thunder, lightning, I hope you're all tucked in. Try not to be so afraid, try to be brave. And strong when you hear my noises above, you feel something's terribly wrong. Thunder, lightning, thunder, lightning, your house seems to shake in the night. Thunder, lightning, thunder, lightning It could feel better if you put on the light But you're too scared to get out of bed And you're too big to call mom or dad If you weren't all by yourself You wouldn't feel terribly Thunder, lightning, where is it going to end? Thunder, lightning, thunder, lightning, right now you could use a good friend. Is someone trying your door? Something coming up through the floor Oh my, you're so full of dread Thunder, lightning, thunder, lightning A storm is about to begin Thunder, lightning, thunder, lightning I hope you're all tucked in Close your eyes tightly and count it And hear your little heart throb And think about T.L. That's me Enjoying his work and his job Thunder lightning We'll return to Kids Radio Show after this. When Dorothy awoke, she sprang from her bed, and with her little dog Bobo at her heels, she ran to open the front door of the farmhouse 
that the tornado had whisked into the sky. Her, her eyes grew big with wonder, and, and she gave a cry of amazement at the sights she saw. The, the cyclone had set the house down very gently, for a tornado that is, in the midst of a beautiful countryside. And there were small little strange looking people standing all around the house as well. You're good at that. I can't believe she's finally gone. You made a four-point landing right on top of her. What are you talking about, strange little person? You can call me a manji if you don't mind. And what I was trying to tell you is that you I'm sure my aunt and uncle have insurance that will cover this sort of thing yeah, if you're... Yeah, look out! Here comes the giant soap bubble! Oh dear! Here comes the giant soap bubble! Oh dear! When there's an accident, you get all types of weirdos showing up. You know, it's no subway riding around in a soap bubble, I can tell you that much, kid. Everything gets sticky and mucky. Who are you? A claims adjuster? I'm the witch of the north side, believe it or not. I'm surprised you couldn't tell from these swell clothes in the wand. If you're a witch, can you help me get back to my home in Kansas? What for? Seen one corn stalk, you've seen them all. But if that's what you want, you'll have to travel to the city of Oakland to talk the great lizard there. Perhaps you'll get your boots back to Kansas. The lizard of Toss? Yeah, right. Toss is soft, smell backwards. Doesn't mean anything special, just thought I'd throw it in. But how can I get there? With your feet, kid. These silver platform shoes with the false boot on the toes that my sister, the wicked witch of the east side, was wearing before you flattened her with your pad are yours to wear now. Phew-wee! My sister never would change her socks. Phew. I can barely stand up with these platform shoes on my feet. Yeah, and they're really out of style, too. But they'll come in handy later. Just boogie down the banana brick road to Opal City. See you around, kiddo. Boogie down the road? What do you mean? Brother, you must be from Kansas. Here, I'll show you how to boogie walk down the road for a while, but I really got a split. Step out to the left and then you step out to the right and then you jump, jump, jump. The boogie Step out to the left and then you step out to the right and then you jump, jump, jump. The boogie Step out to the left and then you step out to the right and then you jump, jump, jump. The boogie Let's go!
after Dorothy had walked several miles, which is quite a trick when you're wearing silver platform shoes with false fruit attached to them, yeah, she stopped by the side of the banana brick road and gazed out into a cornfield that reminded her of her home in Kansas. Suddenly, a voice spoke to her. Hey, where did you get those crazy platform shoes? <laughs> what? Who said that? Hmm, there's no one around except that ratty old scarecrow. Well, as you can see, uh, I wear these old combat boots myself, but, but I like your shoes more. <laughs> it is the scarecrow. Here, let me help you down off that pole. Ooh, be careful. Ooh. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, oh, that's good to get off that stick finally. Uh, thank you, little person. Uh, where are you going to? My name is Dorothy, and the dog that's pulling at your pants leg there is Bobo. We're on our way to see the Lizard of Toz in Opal City. <gasps> Do you think if I go with you as a bodyguard that the Great Lizard would give me brains in place of the straw with which my pants are stuffed? You mean with which your head is stuffed? Oh, oh, is that where brains are supposed to go? Right. Brains take a seat right behind your eyes. You're welcome to come along, but how can you be a bodyguard? You can barely stand up. Well, maybe the attacker will have hay fever. <laughs> So the little girl, Bobo and the Scarecrow, continued down the banana brick road. The next morning, they heard a groan nearby. They went to see what was making the groans and found one of the big trees had been partly chopped through. And standing beside it, with an uplifted axe in his hands, was a man made entirely of old car parts. Did you groan? Oh, yeah. I am rusted so badly that I can't move my joints. Use the oil can. What did he say? <laughs> I think he said to use the pelican. No, he said to use the oil can on his rusty joints. Dorothy and the Scarecrow oiled joints of the man made from spare car parts from a salvage yard, and the salvage man was soon moving around quite nicely. Ooh, yeah! Now that is better. I am made mostly of parts from old Buicks, you know. <laughs> We're on our way to the Opal City to see the Great Lizard of Toz. Why would you want to track down a Great Lizard? Well, never mind. Don't answer that. Do you suppose if I asked him, Toz would give me a heart? I've always wanted one of those instead of this hood ornament. <laughs> sure, the scarecrow is going to ask the lizard for a brain, so I don't see why you can't ask for a heart. After tucking the oil can in her basket, Dorothy and her two new friends and Bobo started their way along the banana brick road that wound through the woods. Up in the sky, all day long she flies so high. And I've got a friend down on the ground, all day long he lays around. Ain't it good to have friends? 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 I've got a friend, he loves to swim, he doesn't care who's water to swim. I've got a friend, she loves to sing, she doesn't care what tea she's in. Ain't it good to have friends? 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 I've got a friend, all over green. Some say he's ugly, but I think he's me. I've got a friend, all over white. Changes color with the northern light. Ain't it good to have friends? 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 Ain't it good to have friends?
return for more Kids Radio Show in a moment. the Scarecrow, the Salvage Man, and Bobo traveled through the dark forest on their way to see the Lizard of Taz. A savage beast leapt from the bushes and threatened them all. Mm, you better run for your lives there. I'll stick you with my little horns and boy will it hurt. How dare you threaten all of us? What are you, anyway? I'm a South African new, and we can really be mean if we're provoked, so you better stop running. Okay, I'm going to step on this dog with my little sharp hooves, and you'll see what I mean. You leave Bobo alone, you big bully. Take that. Oh, you slapped my little bugle. Is it going to swell up? It's going to look horrible. I just know it. Why, you're a big faker. You're not ferocious at all. (laughs) He's as about as ferocious as a baby duck. Here, let me at him with my neck. No, no, wait a minute, salvage man. He can't hurt us. But maybe we should even take him with us to see the lizard of Tars. Oh, do you think the great lizard would give me courage? I could use a lot of that. Come with uh, us. Come join the company. We'll all go to Opal City together. Oh, goody. Uh, say, where did you get those crazy platform shoes anyway? But as Dorothy and her newfound friends headed toward Opal City in the land of Taz, little did they suspect that their progress was being watched in a huge magic hubcap by the Wicked Witch of the West Side. Oh, so she thinks she's safe as long as she has a red tag bozos along with her, eh? 
Uh, she'll never reach the Opal City because now I'll mix a brew that will cause a field of tall leafy green plants to grow with little tiny flowers that'll cause her to get very drowsy. Then the magic platform shoe shall be mine! <laughs> now let me see, what shall I put into that brew? Dead leaves, seaweed, or rotten eggs too Stir them in my witch's brew I got magic, alicus, and a kazoo Spiderweb, moldy bread, mucky mud too Stir them in my witch's brew I got magic, alicus, and a kazoo What's it gonna do to you? Woo! Floor wax, thumbtacks, purple, pink, too. Stir them in my witch's brew. I got magic, alicus, and a kazoo. Fingernails, lunch pails, apple cores, too. Stir them in my witch's brew. I got magic, alicus, and a kazoo. Mushrooms and motor oil too Stir them in my witch's brew I got magic, alicus and a kazoo Yeah, yeah, I got magic, alicus and a kazoo Dorothy, wake up! Salvage man, help me! Dorothy, Bobo, and the South African New have all gone to sleep here in this field of green plants! Oh no! Yeah! Now we will never see the great lizard! And I will never get mine heart! Oh! Well, it looks like my sister's mucking around in other people's affairs again. I'll cause a little rain to fall and start things moving again. Oh! Oh, I'm so sleepy! What happened? Oh, goody, goody, goody. Look, Salvage Man, they're all waking up. The good witch of the north caused it to rain. Mm, but this is funny colored rain. Yeah, yeah, it is acid rain. That is why. But, but we can't be choosing, you know. Let's move on to the city before I rust again. That afternoon, Dorothy and her crew arrived at the gates of the great Opal City. The wall around the city was high and made of opal. The gate was studded with jewels. Dorothy pushed a button and the gate opened. Halt! State your business! We've come to see the Lizard of Toz so that I can return to Kansas with my little dog Bobo and so the Scarecrow can have a brain, so the Salvage Man can have a heart no. and so the South African New can have courage. Uh -huh. Do you think the Lizard can do all of that? My dear girl in platform shoes, the Great Lizard of Toz can do anything he wishes. The group of travelers were shown into a giant throne room. There, sitting on a giant throne, sat the biggest lizard any of them had ever seen, yeah. And he was the exact color of the chair he was sitting in. Speak to me, mortals. Why do you seek the great and powerful lizard of Paz? Oh, that's the biggest lizard I've ever seen. We seek your help, your lizard ship. Can you help us? I can grant anything if I desire to. If you wish for me to help you, first you must do something for me. You must destroy the wicked witch of the west side and return here with her bandy as proof. Her bandy? What on earth is a bandy? Don't ask silly questions. 
when the witch of the west side is gone, then and only then return to me. And don't forget to bring the bendy. <laughs> With that statement, the giant lizard started leaping all over the throne room. It scared the South African new so much that he began leaping all over the room also. The lizard of Taz would change to the color of whatever he landed on and would start shooting flames from his mouth as he told them to leave his city. <laughs> Listen and you'll hear the L sound song. Listen and follow along. Lizard. Lion. Lake. Lady. Log. Legs. Leaping, oh lizard, leaping lizard! Did you see that? Lizzie the lizard leapt over the lion and landed in the lake. She met a lady on a log who said, "For goodness' sake, what luck!" laughed Lizzie and laid her legs upon a leaf. They licked a lemon lollipop while a little lad said, "Good grief!" Later, the lad led a lamb down to the lake for lunch. The lamb looked for lots of lettuce and lapped up a large, large bunch. Then the lady and Lizzie Lizard looked for the lion in its lair, but the lion had left with the lad and the lamb, and there was no one there. Leap in, lizard! Lambs that lap lettuce. Lizard. Lion, lake, lady, log, legs, leaf, lad. Did you hear some words that have an L sound? Oh, oh, is the L sound? Did you learn some words? We'll return for the conclusion of this week's kids' radio show episode right after this. My, that's quite a story you have about the lizard of Taz, Theodore. You sure you weren't talking in class while the teacher was trying to read you another story? Golly, Aunt Karen, I haven't even finished telling you the rest of the story of the lizard of Taz. Well, I'm afraid that'll have to wait. Tune in next week for the exciting conclusion of Theodore's story of the lizard of Taz. Till then, bye. <laughs> <laughs> 